Jesus Enrique Emilio de la Helguera was born on May 28, 1910 in Chihuahua, Mexico to parents Alvaro Garcia Helguera and Maria Espinosa Escarazarg. His family eventually moved to Cordoba, Veracruz, and in 1917, the Helguera family was forced to flee the war and conflicts that arose from the Mexican Revolution to the Ciudad Real Castilla La Nueva in Spain, where they all eventually settled down in Madrid. Jesus Helguera quickly demonstrated strong creative talent as a child and was encouraged by his primary school teacher to take art lessons and immerse himself in artistic studies by going to art museums and critiquing and imitating the artwork he viewed at the Museo del Prado. The young artist had a strong love for nature and wildlife, and at the age of nine, he began drawing maps and landscapes that he admired while growing up in Madrid, Spain. At age 14, Helguera was admitted to the Escuela Superior de Bellas Artes and studied under such artists as Marcelino Santa Maria, Manuel Benedito, Julio Romero Torres, and others. He then studied at the famous Academia de San Fernando and further developed his skill set for life drawing, using light logic, and painting with gouache and oils. Eventually, as Helguera grew older, he was hired to do illustrations for books, calendars, cigar boxes, and magazines, such as the editorial Araluce. Helguera's hard work and artistic talents advanced to the point where he became a professor of visual arts in Bilbao, Spain, at the young age of 18 years old. In, eight, in 1938, Jesus Helguera experienced economic hardships and decided to move back to Mexico with his wife and children in order to escape the Spanish Civil War and to continue pursuing his artistic career. It is here that it becomes more apparent that Helguera was fascinated by Aztec mythology and the wondrous landscapes, rivers, and mountains of Mexico. Starting in 1954, his art began to portray more religious themes, women, families, and children. Jesus Helguera married a Spanish woman from Madrid named Julia Gonzalez Llanos and had two children with her. When the Spanish Civil War began, he decided that it was safer to return to Mexico with his new family, and so they returned to Veracruz in 1938. His wife would often serve as his favorite stand-in model, and she participated in posing for a lot of his paintings. Helguera would paint Llanos some portraits that idealized the beauty and traditional maternal roles of Latin women. Wearing both traditional Mexican rural attire with a rebozo and Spanish folklorico dress to highlight the traditions and attire of both Mexico and Spain. Jesus Helguera would also paint alluring pinups for calendars, comics, and magazines, and his wife would model for him in various poses that portrayed vulnerability, pride, and provocativeness. Jesus Helguera's artistic style depicted themes of romanticism, fantasy, alluring erotic, national pride, and folklore. Helguera's work quickly became very popular and was printed on various merchandise and printed materials. In 1939, he became the exclusive feature artist for Cigarrera La Mardena, Mexico's largest producer of cigarettes. Helguera is known for creating many other illustrations that embodied Mexican and Spanish pride, as well as myth and folklore. His paintings would become a strong part of Latin and Mexican cultures worldwide. According to Voices of Mexico, a scholarly magazine published by the National Autonomous University of Mexico, Alguera was impressed by the beauty of the volcanoes and Mexico's rivers and lakes. So his admiration for his beloved pastoral land is what influenced many of the artist's paintings. In La Leyenda de los Volcanes, we see a romantic painting that depicts the princess and the warrior. Behind them are the two volcanic mountains located on the border between Mexico City and Puebla that represents the two lovers. On the left, there's the princess delicately draped on the ground wearing a white dress as she represents this pure celestial beauty. To the right is the young warrior kneeling beside her with a solemn expression as he symbolizes the heroic figure in mourning. Many of Elguera's work mirror his own interest in Aztec traditions, Catholicism, and pastoral landscapes, since he devoted most of his time to studying Mexican history and values. Elguera's work depicts a romanticized Mexico, and it was this technique that granted his paintings the heroic impact that made him well known. According to Aztec mythology, the volcanoes are the product of the tragedy that occurred between the lovers Popo Catepel, a warrior, and the princess Ista Chihual. The warrior asked to marry the princess before he could do so. The princess's father demanded that the young warrior win in a battle against their mutual enemy. The girl's father had little faith that the warrior would return alive, and while he was away, 
False word got back to the princess that her love had died in battle. The princess was saddened and mourns to the point where she dies of a broken heart. Popocatepel eventually returns victorious, only to find out upon his return that the princess was dead. Overcome with grief, the warrior takes the body of his love up to the mountaintops to prepare her funeral. He stands guard over the princess's remains and eventually ends up dying by her side. The Aztec gods are touched by the devotion of two mortals and turn the two into volcanic mountains so that they could be together forever. El Guero's artwork was and still is a vast and stark contrast compared to how Mexicans were commonly depicted throughout Western media between the 1940s to today's modern entertainment and portrayal by the media. Mexicans were usually depicted as villains or banditos in old films and TV that took place in the Wild West or as being illiterate, crude, and lazy. For example, the character Speedy Gonzalez with the heavy Mexican accent and the constant yips and gritos, or the stereotype of a Mexican taking a siesta by leaning or sitting under the shade of a cactus. Even today, Mexicans are often portrayed negatively in popular shows by showing characters that are involved in gang violence and drug trafficking. In Helguera's work, we instead see romantic and idealized portrayals of Mexican rur rural life, religion, and domesticity along with the heroic displays by soldiers, average citizens, and Aztec warriors alike.